Hey guys, what's going on? It's OSAS from Samsung Galaxy S3 Softmodder, and today I'm going to be showing you how to protect your applications by giving it a passcode or gesture code using AppLock Smart App Protection. So you can download this for free in the Play Store. Um, the, the logo looks like this, and we're just going to open it up. <clears throat> and it's going to take you to this screen, which um, is the default passcode screen. So, as you can see here, it says the initial password is 7777. Um, so we're just going to enter in that to get to the home page. And from here, the first thing we're going to want to do is tap right here, turn that green, which enables App Protector. You can also do that same exact thing by going to default settings and hitting enable service. So let's just go back and back. Now, pretty much the main function of this app is right here, and it's the app lock. So, in order to add an app to the lock, you just hit add right here, and it'll <clears throat> bring up a list of all of the apps that you have on your phone. So, if you want to not have anyone play Angry Birds and beat your, your scores, you can do that. Same thing with Candy Crush. Um, Gallery is another probably important one that you probably don't want a lot of people just randomly going through, so you can password protect that. Favorite games, the internet, whatever have you, and then you just hit add. And it'll be added to this list. Now, once it's in this list, if you try to launch any of these applications, it'll require the password. Now, the default password again is 7777. But if you click on this key right here and you hit lock type, you can set up your own password. I personally like the pattern the most, so I'll choose pattern, you hit yes, you enter in your pattern, I don't even want that, you enter in your pattern here, hit continue, then you can confirm that pattern, confirm. And now every time those apps that you put inside the, the list um, will need that passcode or pattern. Um, you can also put in pattern stealth so you can't see it being written but sometimes I find that hard to do because I also I need to see it in order to launch my apps so let's just test it out um, injustice I lock that down and you see it launches and then it jumps to this page so I would enter in and then it will go through so that's really the basic premise of that function of the app is the app lock um, you can also if we go back into Smart App Protector, you need a passcode to enter in, of course. You can also select the fake icon. And what this does, it'll give you a fake error message. So when somebody's going through and they see that, oh, they need a passcode to enter in this application, it could arouse some suspicions of why this person locking this, et cetera, et cetera. So if you don't even want to deal with that, you can enable the fake lock. You just hit OK. And then we'll go back to, I think I just locked Angry Birds and this will come up. So every time somebody tries to open up that, they'll get an error message. Now, if you do long hold the OK button, you can enter in a passcode and the app will actually launch. So there's the, um, the fake feature. Now, once again, we'll go back. This app is really, really loaded with a whole bunch of cool features um, and it's free, so it's pretty awesome. So here you see that's fake is enabled. I can just turn that off. You can also, in this tab, add applications that you want for the screen to stay on. As it says, it usually suggests internet and ebook. You add those two here. Um, and when those apps are running, the screen won't turn off. And then rotation. So the screen will not rotate if you add the apps into this. You just hit add. The list will populate again. And then you can select from there. So that's another cool feature. Oh, I keep doing that. Um, and then in the settings, even more stuff. Observer. Now this is pretty much um, similar to Peeper Peeper, which I've covered before. But when somebody accesses, once again, the apps that you have in that list, it'll actually take a picture using the front-facing camera of the person without flashing or making the clicking sound so that they will never know. And you can come back here. And you can see through in the log the list of people that have been trying to access your apps. That's a very cool feature. Also, multiple passwords. Um, it speaks for itself. You can have multiple passwords or gestures or patterns um, 
set up for individual applications. So you just hit the add, choose the lock type, the password, and then you choose the app from there. And then you'll have multiple passwords for that. So each app can have a different password, which makes it much harder for somebody to access. So if they figure out one, they can't just go and use that same one for all the other icons and apps. Um, entire lock, it's pretty much just the lock screen. You hit this and then you'll have this, you have smart app um, pretty much acting as your, your lock screen. You enter in the passcode, et cetera, et cetera. You can choose your home launcher here. All you have to do is just slide this on and then choose lock initialization and I'll set, walk you through that process. And then remote control, which is again, another cool feature, pretty much you can send an SMS message or a text message to this phone, which will either A, lock the apps that you've already registered, so all the apps that I've already added to the list, or it'll lock all applications by default. So just every application will be locked. That's if you lose your phone, or if somebody's borrowing your phone and you don't want them looking through your stuff, you can send a message and it'll lock it for you. So you can make sure to check out that feature. So that's pretty much the, all the extra features. Um, there is a premium version, which removes ads even though you haven't seen any. Um, it unlocks some features and then continued update support. So the developer will keep you in tune with all of his updates and upgrades. Um, there are three purchasing tiers, I guess. One's monthly, 99 cents. One's annually, 199, and then lifetime is 299. So pretty much if you're going to use this premium version, um, the cheapest way is actually obviously to get it lifetime 299 because if you use it for three months, you're already paying um, more than you would if you just got the lifetime. So pretty much you just get the lifetime if you're gonna try and upgrade to the premium version. I do think the free version is completely adequate and I don't know why many people would upgrade to the premium version, but the developer could be coming out with newer things that we just don't know about. So again, here's more stuff that you can um, go ahead and check out. There's an unlocking limit, how many times you lock and unlock an app, icon position, if you really wanna mess around with all this stuff, you can change the icon. It's cool things like that. Um, and you're just gonna look through here and again, there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can use. The app is really, really, really good I think it's one of the the better um privacy apps that we've covered so again it's called smart app protector or app lock smart app protector available for free in the play store there is a premium version which you can only get through this upgrade the in-app upgrade there is a there is a link in the play store but you're gonna have to download the free version first and then upgrade to this anyways so again Make sure to check that out. Um, make sure to check out the full tutorial for more information, screenshots, and a whole bunch of other stuff on Samsung Galaxy S3 Softmodder. And also make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.